you talk about, um, we, we talked about this a little bit before in another podcast about uh, your new book, Rogue Leader, and you talk about professional development. And so like, how do you, t tell us a little bit about your book first before we kind of get into the professional development aspect of it. Yeah, so uh, Rogue Leader is my newest book. It is a follow-up uh, to my first book, The Four O'Clock Faculty, about professional development. Um, and it really starts with the premise that uh, professional development, the, the term professional development in mm -hmm. education is a dirty word, right? And how do we get away from that? How do we build systems that will help teachers um, and, and work with and for teachers rather than PD being done to teachers? And I think that's the, the biggest difficulty is often, you know, we're, we're pushing PD at someone mm -hmm. um, as if, you know, here's the solution do this PD and then everything will be fine. Right. And uh, that's not really how professional growth or professional learning works. And so um, Rogue Leader is all about, you know, taking some of that professional responsibility on yourself, um, but also inspiring others to kind of take on that professional responsibility and that professional learning. So when, when is there ever an op or a time where professional development has to be done to teachers, right? Like when, like, hey, we want this, we want, uh, we want empowerment. We want, you know, uh, we want your voice at the table, but sometimes you just got to do it. Right. Like, w like when, when is that, when does that make sense to do? Yeah. I, I think there's absolutely a time where something does have to be pushed out. Right. Um, but again, going back to what I said before, it's about that support, right? So, hmm. you know, this is something that we want all teachers to learn how to do, uh, right. that we definitely need to support teachers in how to do it. So, whether it's a, a new program that's being implemented, whether it's a, a new strategy or initiative, um, making sure that you're, you know, providing coaches or, um, you know, multiple professional development sessions. Right. Um, you know, kind of what I talk about in the book is is getting away from the one and done, you know, the, the buzzword du jour where, you know, mm -hmm. all of a sudden we have a great new PD, we roll it out once and teachers should be good. Uh, whereas, you know, continuous PD is is often the way to go where teachers have something constantly and consistently that is helping them grow. The, 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 as someone who, you know, is contracted to do work, you know, professional learning opportunities with staff, I can really tell, and I, I, I'm sure you've seen this, I can tell the difference between someone bringing me in because they know my work and it aligns with the stuff that they're doing and they see it as like a like a bridge, it's something that's going to help them grow in that in the work that's either happening or about to happen long term, versus who's bringing me in to fill a day because they don't know what else to do. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like, have you seen that before? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's funny because I wrote about that in the book. Is you know, like I I've been the I've been the the, the buzzword guy coming in for one day, and right. um, you know, like you said, you can very easily tell it's it's when people oh. are sitting you know, 30 rows from you in the back of the auditorium and, and what, you know, no parts of what you're, what yeah. you're saying, because no one has ever, you know, given your message before in, uh, in any type of PD. So I think it is important to, um, like I said, make it consistent, make it continuous, yeah. uh, really, really push a message um, and uh, live the message. That's the important piece. If you're trying to help people grow, uh, you have to, you have to live that message. 